Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my review of the Edamax N300 Universal Wi-Fi Bridge for Smart TV, Blu-ray and gaming. Very nice unit. It allows the ability to run up to five devices on the bridge unit itself. It works with uh, any Blu-ray, Smart TV, DVR, games, PCs. You might have a, a printer that has an Ethernet only capability. Well this will turn that printer into a nice wireless printer. Um, it's very easy to set up. Most routers now come with a Wi-Fi protected setup, as you can see by this button on under my thumb. And you simply hit this and pair it with your router. Easy to set up. However, if you have a little bit of an older router, it comes with a great CD with instructions and a, a, a driver that will help you set it up so just because your router isn't the latest and the greatest doesn't mean you won't be able to use this device to get internet connectivity to your gaming system that's in your living room very energy and fit, uh, efficient it comes with the it works with the latest Wi-Fi standards B G and N and its dual antenna allows it to be used in for great distances so you could have this um, you, you could have the bridge in your living room, your router could be in your office on a, let's say a second floor of your house and you'll still be able to get a great connection. Ladies and gentlemen, the Edamax N300 Universal Wi-Fi Bridge in one second. I'll show you how this is paired and give you a little, little bit of a demonstration of its features. The Edamax N300 Universal Wi-Fi Bridge, very easy to set up. You can either use the included power cord just simply plug it in the back or it also comes with a USB option if you have a computer or other device that is powerful enough but uh, it's probably it's been highly recommended to use the the wall adapter simply just plug it into an outlet take the back of the cord now I'm going to show you two ways to set this up just plug it into the back and in a few seconds the power button will become solid as you can it's flashing it takes a couple of seconds for it to, to get working. Okay, after the power button has become solid, if you have a newer router with the WPS, the Wi-Fi protective setup, just simply turn around the Wi-Fi bridge and there's a button right below one of the antennas that says WPS slash reset. You simply hold this in and the WLAN button should flash on and off on for two seconds and off for two seconds as you can see then you simply hit the WPS on the Wi-Fi router I'm gonna do that right now and I'll show you how easy it is to connect the second method to set up the wireless bridge if you have a router that isn't WPS capable I simply plug the unit in and wait for the power button to return solid again. This takes about a few seconds, but it's pretty typical on any router or bridge that you may use. Okay, now that the power button is solid, you can see that um, it is flashing, indicating that it's working. Previously, we hit this button on the back to reset, but now I'm just gonna set this to the side, pull up my tablet but you can easily do this on a, a laptop if you wish you're simply going to go to your Wi-Fi connections and you're gonna find one that says Edamax setup mine says dot four three but uh, I've noticed in, in different tests just after resetting the unit you might get a different number but as long as it says Edamax setup you should be okay simply click on that and hit connect okay after you've done that you're gonna open up any web browser and simply type in HTTP colon backslash backslash edamax dot go. Now after that loads, it should bring up the screen. And you want to connect to your current router. Now for instance, mine is probably going to be at the top. It says DDWRT. Simply go and select that. Ask me for my security key. And then simply hit enter. It's going to ask you for a book, book, bookmark. Probably a wise thing to do because 
You may have to come back to this again. It's going to do a connection test. And now it says connection successfully. And your Edimax unit should be ready to go. Just simply hit apply. The system will restart. It's going to restart your router. And after that, you just simply take your, plug any type of unit you need, your game systems, your other computers, smart TV, DVRs, printer. Um, I want to show you an example with a, a printer that I use. And it should be ready to go. Very easy to set up. And this is a method for those of you that don't have a WPS router. It just shows you the Atomax took in consideration that some people may not be on on newer hardware and they still wanted to uh, be able to accommodate them. Like I said, if you have any trouble with the setup procedure, just contact the company. Great customer service. I've used multiple products from them and never had an issue when contacting customer service. I've only emailed them, but I heard phone support was well too. But every time I've emailed them, every the next time I check my email, I always had a reply waiting for me with the with the with the correction and the response. Congratulations, your device is connected. Now you're ready to use your Edimax N300 wireless bridge. Okay, after it's connected, you can tell that the light is flashing just as it would on any other router, indicating that there is activity. In one second, I'm gonna plug my printer in and I'm gonna show you how this works. Okay, as you can see, I've easily connected my laser printer which is only Ethernet capable into the back of the Edimax N300 wireless bridge and all I'm going to do is simply hit control P and just print something on my computer and you should be able to hear the sound and I'll show you the paper in about 20 seconds So I just hit print on my computer. As you can hear, the printer is running now. It's connected through the Edimax N300 wireless bridge. This will give me the freedom to move my printer around. As you can see, I printed a test page of the product itself off the Edimax website. Very great customer service. I've used a few other of their products in the past. I have no doubt in my mind that this will answer all your needs. If you need just an extra connection in another room in your house to connect a variety of gadgets. Let's say you have um, a desktop computer without a, um, a wireless adapter. You want internet access. You can have this and a printer. And all it is is one nice unit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Edimax N300 wireless bridge.